Who could the Texans face in the playoffs? Where might they be playing? It's time to talk playoff scenarios. Welcome to the channel. I'm Cody Stutes. Let's talk some Texans playoff scenarios. And before we get into the various potential opponents and the potential landing spots for that first playoff game, isn't it fantastic to be talking about playoff scenarios for the Houston Texans? A year ago, the Texans were hobbling to the finish line of a super disappointing season, heading to Indianapolis in a game where both teams had a solid and sound argument to want to lose the football game. The Texans put a bow on 2022 with a victory over the Indianapolis Colts and ended up with C.J. Stroud out of the draft. Because of it, it all worked out. Now we're talking about a win and you're in playoff game. Ain't that great? Ain't that fantastic win and you're in. So let's get through these playoff scenarios. Let's talk about the various <clears throat> potential opponents and potential landing spots for the Texans in the first round of the playoffs. And I mentioned it once or twice already. It's a win and you're in game against the Indianapolis Colts. Not lose and you're in, not tie and you're in. So win and you're in means win and you're in. So you can't tie, you can't lose. Uh, if the Texans tie or lose the Indianapolis Colts, they're going home. They're sad. Look at the little smiley face. Look how sad he is. I'm sad. You're sad. And what should be a fun offseason for the Texans gets here before any of us actually wants it to get here. Previous years, we prayed for the offseason. Uh, not so much anymore. The offseason, you want it to stay away as much as possible. So, again, it's win and you're in. And then you're in the dance. Let's see how long you can go dancing. Let's go through the most fun scenario first. A Texans win combined with a Jacksonville Jaguars loss has the Houston Texans winning the AFC South Championship and hosting a playoff game in the first round of the playoffs. They would host the Cleveland Browns. Now, the Browns are locked into the five spot. Whoever's the four seed is hosting the Cleveland Browns, and that's a Browns team that's looked really ferocious here down the stretch. Texans fans, you remember what happened a couple of weeks ago when the Browns came to town, but at home with C.J. Stroud, it's a fun and intriguing matchup. It's a matchup that I welcome in this set up in these playoff scenarios compared to some of the other ones where I wouldn't necessarily welcome the scenario. I'd be happy to have the Texans in, but I wouldn't welcome the opportunity. And this one's fun too, because you get to hang a banner, AFC South champions. And to go from nearly having the top pick in the draft to AFC South champions, that would go to show you not only do you have everything clicking right now, you got everything clicking for the foreseeable future as well. D'Amico Ryan's big thumbs up there. CJ Stroud, big thumbs up there. Nick Casario picking players, bunch of other key players on this team. You'd be feeling pretty good about the direction of the Texans if they were AFC South champions a year after they damn near had the number one overall pick and ended up with the number two overall pick. So you'd be feeling good. The Browns, tough matchup. Everybody's tough. It's the playoffs. There's no gimmies in the playoffs. I guess Miami was kind of a gimme last year when they had their backup quarterback playing, but nobody's a gimme in the playoffs this time of year. So to recap, a Texans win Saturday night, a Jaguars loss Sunday afternoon, and the Houston Texans are AFC South champions. Now, I believe this to be the least likely scenario. So let's follow it up with the most likely scenario. A Texans win Saturday night, a Jaguars win Sunday afternoon, puts all eyes on Sunday night football where the Buffalo Bills take on the Miami Dolphins. Now, a Bills victory makes them the number two seed. It pushes the Texans down to the seventh spot, and the Texans would then play the Bills in the opening round of the playoffs. They travel to Buffalo. Texans wouldn't have as many wins as the Dolphins, so they would be behind the Dolphins in the AFC wildcard pecking order. And this, to me, is the most likely scenario. You need Tennessee to help you out and beat the Jaguars. And I know Mike Vrabel talked about how he's tired of effing losing. I don't know if that's going to change this weekend. So unless the Titans help you out in a tremendous way, this is the most likely scenario. In addition to factoring in Sunday Night Football's result, which the Dolphins are dealing with a ton of injuries. They lost Bradley Chubb last week to an ACL injury. Jalen Waddell, one of their stud receivers, is not 100%. Tyreek Hill is not 100%. 
Tua got dinged up a little bit. The Dolphins are just so hurt right now, and the Bills are red hot, and they could make sure that almost everything goes through Buffalo unless they play the number one seed, the Baltimore Ravens. Almost everything goes through Buffalo, so they're motivated to win this one. It will be a tough matchup should you have to go to Buffalo. Again, everybody's tough this time of year. It's the playoffs. They're all good football teams. This will be a tough one. It's a matchup that I don't really love, but I don't hate this one as much as another potential matchup that the Texans could face. So this is the Buffalo win scenario. So to recap, Texans win Saturday. Jaguars win Sunday afternoon. Buffalo wins Sunday night. Texans travel to Buffalo for their playoff game. What if the Bills don't win, though? If the Bills don't win and the Miami Dolphins pull out a fantastic win on Sunday Night Football, then the Houston Texans find themselves heading to Kansas City to play Patrick Mahomes. So a Texans win Saturday, a Jaguars win on Sunday, and a Dolphins win Sunday night puts the Texans as the sixth seed. They'd win the tiebreaker over the Buffalo Bills with AFC record. So as the Texans as the sixth seed playing the three seed, Kansas City Chiefs. Now, Kansas City's locked into the three seed. There's no moving or changing or anything like that. So if the Texans end up as the sixth seed, they're going to Kansas City playing Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. This one scares me. I understand this isn't the Kansas City of old. I understand that Kansas City has been a little disappointing this season compared to the expectations. I'm still a little worried about this matchup. This is probably my least favorite of the matchups that the Texans potentially could have. I don't want any part of going to a battle-tested Kansas City in the playoffs. So to recap, a Texans win Saturday, a Jaguars win Saturday afternoon, and a Dolphins win Sunday night as the Texans traveling to Kansas City to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, what if Sunday night football ends in a tie? That's right. It's possible. What if Sunday night football ends in a tie? Well, then the Texans would still be the seventh seed in the AFC. So a Texans win, a Jaguars win, and a Sunday night football tie has the Texans going on the road to play the Miami Dolphins, seventh seed traveling to the two seed in the AFC. So a highly unlikely scenario. I wanted to go through it, though, because we almost had Sunday night football and the last week of the season ended in a tie a couple of years ago. I believe it was the Chargers and the Raiders. If they tied, both teams made the playoffs. Somebody played for the win. Ultimately, somebody won. Somebody else went home. But uh, a tie has been close to happening in this scenario in Sunday Night Football, so I did want to address it. It's the only way the Texans could go to Miami as the seventh seed with the Dolphins as the two seed. It's the only way the Dolphins could be the uh, two seed and play the Texans as the seventh seed, as I mentioned. So to recap this highly unlikely scenario, okay, Texans win Saturday, Jaguars win Sunday afternoon, and the Dolphins and the Bills tie Sunday night, the Texans will go on the road to play the Miami Dolphins on the road in the first round of the playoffs. So those are your playoff scenarios. Which one is your favorite? Which one is your least favorite? I'm going to rank mine one through four of which one I'd want to most have happen for the Texans and which one I'd want to least have happen for the Texans. I'd like for you to let me know in the comment section down below as well. Throw me a thumbs up on the video as you head down to the comment section. So the one I want the most is the Texans to win the AFC South, host the Cleveland Browns. This is a better team at home. C.J. Stroud with an opportunity against this Browns team. It's a tough matchup. They're a tough team, but I like the Texans' chances against the Browns at home with a chance to bounce back from that performance they had against the Browns. I like that for the Texans more than any of the other scenarios. Scenario number two that I like is going on the road to Buffalo. And you're saying to yourself, well, hold on, Cody, you just said Buffalo is one of the hottest teams in football. Maybe nobody wants to play Buffalo right now. Josh Allen will make mistakes. Josh Allen will make a lot of mistakes. They've had an underwhelming, okay, underwhelming 
wide receiver year. Okay, there have been some inconsistency with the wide receiver, so maybe the Texans secondary could handle some of those wideouts. I'm worried about their tight end production. That's been pretty darn good. They can't run the football well, and again, the Josh Allen turnover factor. I like them right behind the Browns as the opponent for the Texans. Number three, I'm going to put the Miami Dolphins there. You could get a banged up Dolphins, but ultimately I saw in training camp when the Dolphins were here, Miami get after the Texans. Now that was many, many moons ago, many, many weeks ago, many, many months ago. I understand that aspect of it. That's still a dangerous Dolphins offense. They can run the ball well. They've run the ball well against some really good defenses. So maybe they'll be able to run the ball against you. Tua and Tyreek and Jalen Waddell, some of the other guys that they have there. It's a rough matchup. I don't like that one. My least favorite, if you've gone by the process of elimination, is playing Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid in Kansas City. I want no part of Kansas City in the playoffs. I understand it's been disappointing in the regular season from the expectation standpoint of the Chiefs, but Mahomes and Andy Reid would have this thing dialed up and ready to attack the Texans' defense. And looking at their defense, Chris Jones, a lot of the Texans' struggles have come when the opposing teams had an elite defensive tackle. So I don't want any part of Kansas City's tough defense either. They're my fourth opponent. So to recap, the preference of opponent, Browns, Bills, Dolphins, and Chiefs is my one through four. Get in the comment section. Let me know about what you think of these playoff scenarios. Which one is your favorite? Which one's your least favorite? Do you want to see the Browns? Again, the comment section down below is where you can have that conversation. We love the comment section. Always keep it going as well. Big thanks to my friends at JBARM for supporting the channel. They do a fantastic job. 2201 Leland Street down in Edo. where you can find them. Incredible barbecue. A Houston Chronicle pick. A Texas Monthly pick. A Cody Stutes pick. Uh, well, you don't need the first two publications, but I'm telling you, incredible barbecue. They do a great job. $2 wells on Fridays and Saturdays. So playoff football or basketball, when baseball season gets here, you're going to want to hang out at J Bar M. Get you some fantastic food. The beer garden's a great, great spot to hang out. Live music on the weekends as well. J Bar M, appreciate them supporting the channel and I'd appreciate you supporting them. Speaking of support, you can support Houston Football, my website, with a Houston football hat. That's right. I've got the link to purchase these in the description down below. You can pick up a hat. They're fantastic trucker hats. They're snapbacks. Man, they sit right. They fit right. The embroidery job of Houston Football was great. My guy Shorty, who did these, did a great job. You can pick them up in the description down below if you want a hat. I personally uh, address the envelope and send it out myself. So if you pick one up, I will send you that. I'll send you some stickers as well, too, if you want to pick up a hat. And if you want to wait for the raffle, stay tuned. We'll tell you how to win one of these hats in a raffle in the coming videos as well. Well, hope you've enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching the video. And I can't wait till we talk Texans again soon.